a little wall, Aligato here for rocking the garden, and we're going to start with the oregano again, which is oregano on. Uh, doesn't look really all that different from before. A little bit bushier, a little bit, I don't know, less green, but it's been a lot cooler again, so I'm not too surprised. Over here we have the bed with ant powder down. Uh, the onions are doing just fine. So, yay. Still haven't really decided what I'm going to do in this bed yet. Probably something leafy and green. But nobody's got seeds yet. The oregano, or the uh, basil doesn't look great, but it's cold. And I don't think it's getting quite the water it's supposed to. Just because it's out of the way of the rain. Um, but yeah, it, it's it's not looking great, but it's still alive, so it's doing fine. Coming down here, the strawberries are doing just fine on their own. I do kind of need to rearrange things a little bit. It looks like we're getting lots of strawberries on one side and nothing on the other side, so yeah. Down in here, this bed or this bag, is not doing too badly, actually. I can see some carrots in there, some daikon, that kind of thing. So it's doing quite okay for the temperatures and everything else. Over here, decided what I was going to do with some of these pots. So uh, in here we've got yellow carrot. And I don't know that that's actually carrot seed that I see, or carrots that I see popped up there, just because it's, I put it in, uh, the seed went in, in a row, and then a row, and then a row, and that does not look like a row. That looks like scattered hither, there, hither, thither, and yon. So we'll see what happens over the next couple of days, but whatever. This... This is the first flower of the year. I have no idea why the strawberry decided that it was going to flower now. But if it decides to flower and it decides to grow a strawberry, so be it. In here, we have... Uh, so I got ordered a set of blue bonnets and uh, similar wildflowers, native-ish to the state of Texas. And when I received the seeds, I received... Uh, packets of soft flour and a couple other things like uh, Indian paintbrush and stuff like that. Just free. They just sent me the, the seeds as a, in addition to the uh, normal set that I had ordered. Not a lot of them, but I planted in the soft flour, so we'll get some soft flour. Let's see. Up here, those are snow peas. I do need to look at going in and thinning them thinning them out just a little bit uh, with the thinning I'm actually not going to remove weakened plants I'm just going to move them into the raised bed the mesalin mix over here it's too thick but you know whatever uh, it's been too cold for it to really gain any growth but I'm okay with that as well this strawberry bed is not doing supremely well. We've been getting rain, but it's been off and on, and it hasn't been getting into the grow beds properly. At least not this one. Back here, the asparagus. I still definitely need to get this thing split and uh, find some place for it. But, uh, about nine months in and it's looking good. I've actually got, oops, I've actually got uh, what look like sprue, so they're not harvestable yet. Not really, I just wanna have the plant focusing on gaining, you know, energy and growing bigger, getting better. Okay, coming across here to the raised bed. I got a couple in there that look like they're ready to harvest. So those are, I'm pretty sure, turnips or beets. I'm not sure exactly until I pull them up. 
but they're looking actually really good overall. Let me see if I can get a good side angle. You can just see that one there. That looks really good. I'm probably going to leave it a couple more weeks just for uh, to build in so that it gets ready for harvesting. But uh, yeah, it looks really good. Across the back here, I took some of the uh, the mulch that we had and planted in uh, cucumber seed cucumber seed that we had, had saved from some of the cucumbers that we harvested uh, last year and uh, when I harvested them I didn't dry them out properly before I put them into a, the zip top bag and as a result the entire thing rotted kind of went gross but I thought I wasn't going to get anything up out of it but that should be right about there can I see that growing in and then right there I can kind of see some more stuff growing in so I'm probably actually going to have some cucumbers coming up and get those trellised up nice over on the uh, left here I put in bell peppers uh, it's a package of mixed color bell peppers so I don't know what color the, the actual peppers that are going to come in are. If anything comes in, those seeds are really old. So This mesalin mix in here looks really good, actually. Um, the white powder you see is also the, some more of that uh, ant powder. Because we've had a, a serious uh, fire ant problem a couple of months ago, or a couple of weeks ago. But uh, dealt with it. These, I'm not still not sure what they are, but they're looking healthy enough, so you know, they're growing. Haven't decided what else I'm going to put in or where, but uh, none of the none of the stores yet have any of the seed that I would normally be using, anyways. So do have a couple of spots as I spin you around right over there um, like I said I had blue bonnet or bluebells that I wanted to uh, one of the two blue bonnets or bluebells uh, that I wanted to uh, put in so it came out here just before I knew there was going to be a cool period temperatures getting down into the low 30s and they say that for uh, the blue bonnets, you have to let the seeds basically vernalize. So, planted them out before. Didn't really plant them, just kind of pulled back the grass, got the soil up so it was visible. And then just put the, the seeds out, sprinkled them out of a pretty good chunk. Did that in a couple of spots in the garden, like over there by the... Uh, garbage can. Indian paper right over the uh, kitty's grave. So. And then I've scattered some seeds over other areas just in general. Uh, flowers and stuff like that. So hopefully some of them decide to come up this year. But other than that, it's I think it's about 62 out here and we're supposed to have a, a, a low of about 32 tonight so yeah it's gonna be cold I'm not gonna bring anything in because I don't think we've got any problems I might bring the snow peas back just so they're closer to the house but other than that y'all have yourselves a good day talk to you later